Hello, I'm Sky Taylor and welcome to Coffee with Sky. You know, over the years I've gotten many, many requests from artists, just like you, that wanted to know where do you get those furniture settings that you can display your paintings on and upload them to websites. Where do you get those? Well, you know what? I couldn't really answer that question because I designed my own. Now, when I first started out, I had that same exact question. I would ask artists, where do you get it? And you know how many answers I got? Zero, folks. Nobody helped me. So I decided I would design my own. Now, as time goes by, I'm still getting asked. So what I decided to do was set aside time to build a bunch of templates. I built 72 templates, plus I designed a lot of props in a do-it-yourself that you can actually, if you want to, put your, you design your own room. You can design it with all the props in that. But I also have 72 templates that you can put your painting on and upload it to your site. Okay, big question. How much is it going to cost me? Well, you got a million bucks? Okay, you don't? Okay, then I'm going to give it to you for free. If you don't, can't pay me a million bucks, I'm going to give it to you for free. Now, what's great about this is if you're a new artist and just starting out and you don't have the software to put this all together, don't worry about it. All the links are below the video. I'm going to show you the software that you can get absolutely free to put your beautiful works of art on a template with furniture and upload it to your site. And if you're a do-it-yourselfer, there'll be all sorts of props in that that you can build your own. You'll have walls and rugs and lamps, everything there to create your own room setting. Everything is there, folks. Okay, I put together a little video. Sit back and relax. Yeah, it's a little bit long, you know me. But it's very, very informative. What I suggest, get a coffee. Relax, take off those shoes, enjoy this video, and when, you're, when it's over, come back and we'll talk just for a few seconds. I'm going to enjoy my coffee. You watch the video. Thanks. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is to go to skytaylorgalleries.com. Now, you don't have to worry about that because a link is provided below the video. All links are below the video. But if you want to do it manually, you can go this way. You go get over to my website, and the first thing you're going to do when you get there is look for the Artist Corner. Click on that link. It's going to take you to a special page set aside just for you, the artist. I provided a special section to help you as an artist. Now, what do you get in this, on this page? Well, you're going to get free furniture settings to display your paintings on your web page. What exactly does that mean? That means you get 72 furniture templates absolutely free, plus tons of stuff to build your own. You can take your masterpiece, put it here above the couch, and voila, you have an incredible display that puts you on the level of professionals. It'll make your art really pop, and it shows your customer what exactly your beautiful work, your beautiful artwork will look like in an actual in room environment. So that's just like totally incredible. Now, if you're an amateur, don't worry about it because I'm going to show you step by step on how to get your painting onto the wall by providing a link to free software that you can do yourself. And we'll tell you all about that at the end of the video. Just hang in there. Okay, what does this mean? It means no gimmicks, no upsells. It's free, and I mean it. Now, I spent over 80 hours assembling this system just so you could do what you do, and that's create art. I took one to, for the team, folks. I took my time that I could have been painting to create something easy for you. So you, all you have to do is just put your painting on there, put it on your website, 
and make your work look incredible. Now you're going to get 72 Sky Tailor all ready to go furniture templates for quick and easy insertion of your artwork. Perfect if you don't have the time to create from scratch. Now it doesn't matter whether you are a professional or amateur. These are going to benefit you and save you time. Now you're going to scroll down the page and you're going to come to two free downloads. Click on them and download. As you can see, we are downloading here on the left. Now, the first one is the pre-made 72 templates, which will help you uh, make everything really easy to display your art. Now, the second one down here is the do-it-yourself builder room. What exactly is that? Well, you get many, many, many different types of props that you can actually assemble your own settings, whether it's a bedroom uh, setting with a, a painting above the bed or maybe a couch with a, a, maybe a living room set with your painting above the couch or a fireplace. That's all here, including lamps and pillows. Now you can take any of these props and put them on top of the templates for a quick and easy creative um, one of a kind template that you can call your own. If you want to do that, you can do that. Now the files that are downloading are downloading as zip files. Now what exactly is a zip file? A zip file is folders that are compressed and it's up to you to destroy extract them. You have to extract them in order to get the folders out. It's not going to happen by itself. If you click on them by themselves, nothing's going to happen, folks. You're not going to get it. You have to extract them. So we're going to wait a second here for these to download, and I'm going to show you a really easy way in order to find them. Now, if you're anything like me, when I do a file, uh, when I uh, download a file, I have so much content that it totally gets lost and I, most of the time I spend most of my time trying to find the file but with these zip lock, with these zip files I'm going to show you an easy way on how to find them okay the zip file has downloaded completely here's how you find it really easy you click on the right side by this little arrow and it's going to say show in folder. You're going to click on that and it'll take you directly to your file which is over here. You click on that and you come up with the furniture templates. Now how do you extract them? You highlight them and extract all. Now this is going to take you to a, a setting to where you can tell it exactly where you want the files to go. You can put them in documents or in downloads or in pictures. What's ever easier for you, I suggest get something that is least crowded. Usually it's your documents. You kind of want to probably upload it there, be easier to find. But wherever this goes, it goes for me. As you can see, it's downloading and here we are we have the furniture templates. We're going to click on them and voila, you got 72 incredible furniture templates. Now these are in alphabetical order. Uh, I tried to arrange them by colors of couches. Okay, let's go through them really quickly. Now keep in mind that your painting, your artwork is going to go above the couch or if it's a fireplace, it's going to go above the fireplace. If it's a bedroom set, it's going to go above the bedroom set. Let's click through these really quickly. You've got empty walls. You've got bedroom sets, all different types of walls. Every template is designed for somebody. In other words, no matter what kind of art you do, there's a template here for you. And that rhymes, and that's a bad rhyme, <laughs> but... Keep that in mind, and that even rhymes with that. <laughs> but as you can see, all the different types, oh, let's, let me go back, even antique couches. So if you have uh, maybe landscape painting with a beautiful gold frame or, or, or maybe a realistic painting, this could look really good above this couch. All types of modern couches, modern fixtures, all designed 
to make your artwork pop. Okay, and there you go, you have 72. Let's go back, let's X out of this, and by now the other files should be done. Let me get out of this here, okay. Again, show in folder, click on that, it's gonna take us right there. There it is, your do-it-yourselfers. You're going to highlight that, do an extract all, and we're going to extract them. There you go. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, open up the file. Now, all of these things are separated in categories. Easy to find. Let's go to accessories. Open it up. You have an assorted accessories that you can add on end tables or the coffee tables that we have in our files. Okay, bedroom sets. You get assorted bedroom sets. Now, this bedroom set in particular is more of a close-up bed, and you're going to see later on, I'm going to show you open walls, walls, just solid colors. Now you would put a solid color wall behind here. You wouldn't put anything with a baseboard. These should probably put the baseboard walls in. Let's go to chairs. You get assorted chairs. Now these are all in the PNG format. Now what does that mean? That means I spend hours and hours cutting these all out so you can just paste them right on. Let's go to coffee tables. You've got a few assorted coffee tables. Now these would be good in, like for in front of the couch. Couches, they're all separated by color. You'll get several couches maybe in each category, except for the black one. Black only have one. But we will be adding more content as we go along. Check back often for updates. Brown couches, we have leather and we have cloth. And as you can see, let me go right here. Here's the red couch. Here's the antique couch. You have cloth couches, leather couches. Now you get the idea. You can use these for almost any type of art. We have modern, we have antique. Okay, let's see, let's get out of this. Let's go to end tables. There you go, an assortment of end tables. Now, what you do with the end tables is you would put lamps on them or maybe some of the accessories. Let's go over to lamps and I'll show you. Look at all the lamps that you get. You get floor lamps, you get hanging lamps. Now, something like a hanging lamp would look really cool like in the corner. You set up a couch, put a few hanging lamps in the corner. Be creative. And here's antique lamps to go with that antique couch I showed you. Okay, pillows. We've got pillows. All assorted pillows that you can put on couches. Now, you can even put these on the templates. You can uh, overlay them over the pillows if there are any pillows on the couches. And if there isn't, put them on yourself. You can actually change the way the uh, room looks by adding different color pillows to accent your paintings. And we have walls. Let me click on this. We have brick walls with wood floors, all sorts of walls with rug treatments, different designs, everything designed to make your work pop. Now, when we go through these, you're going to see solid color walls. That's for that bed that I showed you earlier. That single bed, that's where this would go. You wouldn't want to really use it for anything else. And we are back. Okay, let's get out of this. Let's see, what did I miss? Fireplaces. And we have a few fireplaces. Very modern, very classic. And let's see, house plants. Sorted house plants. Okay, well, I think you get the idea what's in these files. It allows you to create. Now, the next part of the video is designed to show you and show you where to get the software and exactly how to build these settings. And I will also take you, uh, especially for the amateur, I will show you how to put the templates in your art together to upload to your site. Now remember, the software I'm showing you is going to be absolutely free. It's not going to cost you a dime. And as an amateur, you're going to be able to compete with the big boys and make your art site look incredible. So whether you're an amateur or whether you're a prof 
professional stay tuned and I'm going to show you how this all goes together with a free link to an art site that you can assemble all of this together at no cost to you okay in this part of the tutorial I'm going to teach you how to crop a picture and put your painting on the template the furniture template now we're going to be going to a free software called PicMonkey. Now the link is below the video, so don't try to memorize this. Not a problem. Okay, I just want to tell you that first of all, I am not an authority on PicMonkey. It's not a system that I use. It's absolutely free. A lot of people use it. A lot of people love it. I highly suggest that if you decide to make this your editing software, please go on YouTube and type in PicMonkey and put tutorial over it and learn as much as you possibly can. I am not the expert on this site. Don't ask me. I don't think I can help you. But most of it is pretty much intuitive. Now, first of all, we're going to be cropping a picture now. If you know how to do all this, you know how to crop a picture, go ahead and take a coffee break, take a pee break, or prank your neighbor and tell him that his tree fell on your house and what kind of homeowner's insurance does he have. Okay, I'm doing this for the newbies. We're going to talk about cropping. Well, the first thing when you get over to PicMonkey, it's pretty much intuitive. We have an edit button at the top. We're going to scroll down when you click on the edit button you're going to get a bunch of different icons that come up you're going to click on computer and it's going to take you to your computer and you're going to locate your paintings well it just happened to come up here's my painting right here for argument's sake we're going to crop this painting so i'm going to click on it and open it up and what happens you get the little gears going and the picture mis miraculously appears before you now like i said pick monkey is pretty much intuitive let's just go over here and everything is all laid out for you it has all the little icons uh, on your left side and when you uh put your cursor over it let's see if i can get this there you go yep there it is it's going to tell you exactly what it is. The first one is basic edits. Uh, that's just the basics. And then you're going to go down to effects. Then you're going to go to touch-ups. Then you have texts. And here's my favorite, which we will be using a lot. It's called overlays. And I'll be explaining this a little later. You can frame your pictures, different types of frames, different textures, and different themes. But for right now, we're going to stay with the basic edits, and we're going to go to Crop. You're going to click on Crop. Menu is going to drop down. But if you notice to your right, there's a uh, box that kind of goes around your painting. And what we're going to do here is we're going to adjust this box so that it fits the painting now you got to take your time here don't be in a rush now you'll always want to uh crop every single painting that you do because nothing is worse than having a uncropped painting and in the background cousin myrtle is putting on her girdle now if you don't know what a girdle is look it up okay let's crop this you are going to fit it to the picture you want to get as close as you can without getting any of the background in just like this and let's see take it over here very easy to do okay double check your work look twice looks good to me what we're going to do is come over to the left side and you're going to hit apply when you're very happy with it hit apply looks good okay we're very happy with this we want to save it you hit the save button up there and what's going to happen is you're going to be brought to a menu that's going to ask you what you want to do with it where do you want to upload it to okay you can name it here and here's the different qualities 
First of all, you have Roger, which is not great quality. It's a tiny file size. I don't think I'd ever save any file in this size. Pierce is a great quality and it's a good file size. This is middle of the road. This is what you would usually use to put on most websites. It's good enough, it's not too large. Or Sean. Now, when you're first saving your very first paintings, what I would highly recommend is to save them in the larger file size, the cropped pictures, because maybe on down the road, you'll want to maybe make a print of this painting. So a large file size is better. It, you can always uh, go down but you can't go up. What's going to happen if you save that in the smaller file size and decide to go up, it could pixelate. So you want to try to always put it in the larger file size, your first paintings. Takes up a lot of memory. Uh, might be a good idea to store all your paintings on a USB flash drive, get them off your computer, you know, and back it up. Maybe do two USB flash drives to save them. This way, if your computer ever crashes, you still have your art. Okay, but for argument's sake, let's just put it in the middle, the, the, the great quality, good file size. And you're going to go down here and it says save to my computer, click on it, and you're going to name your painting. Now, I'm going to name this one Yucca Mucca 2. What that means, I have no idea. Ah, let's make it Yucca Mucca 3. It looks like a Yucca Mucca. Okay. You're going to save it, and there you have it. We have saved the painting, the cropped painting, and this is going to be beneficial when we use it for the templates. Now, I'm not going to use this painting, but I just wanted to show you how to crop it. Okay, coffee break's over, potty break's over, prank break is over. Get back here. Okay, we're back to the beginning, and let's do another edit. We're going to go to computer and we're going to go to Sky Taylor's famous templates. Now I told you I'd extract them from the zip files before I trust that you've done that already. Okay, what we're going to do is go to the pre-made template folder click on it and a bunch are going to come down. We're going to scroll to see what kind of background we want to use. I like, let's see, I like this one right here. I'm going to click on it and it opens up and there you have it. Now, how do we get the painting onto the wall? Okay, look over to the left and we're going to go down here to overlay. Now think about this. You have your base. This is base. Anything that you add to it is going to be an overlay. So if you want to always add stuff, it's going to be overlay. So we're going to click on that little butterfly. Click on that little booger, folks. And you're going to have a list of things that come down. What are we going to do? We're going to go to your own right here up at the top left side. And we're going to click on this little arrow going down and go to my computer. And we're going to search out a painting. One of maybe the paintings that we cropped. Let's just go here. Let me look. Let's see what kind of paintings we got. You know what? I'm going to go with the peacock. Probably won't fit correctly, but that kind of looks cool to me because of the teal. So I'm going to open it up and voila, the uh, painting comes before your eyes, just like magic. Okay, now you'll notice that it has a little box around it with little circles. What does that mean? Well, that means that you can size the painting exactly the size that you want it. Now, when you're doing this and when you're sizing paintings to couch, you know what size the painting is. Try to guesstimate what it would look like above a couch, an actual size. Try to think about what the real size would be if it were to be against this couch. And then you'll always want to put a disclaimer somewhere that's saying that the actual size may vary, that you want to basically just give the customer an idea of how it would look in a room setting. So therefore you can kind of fudge the size a tiny bit 
but don't get carried away. You want to be honest about this. Okay, so what we're going to do is click the corner of it and make it the size that we think it is. Now, this just happens to be a very, very large painting. It's a 30 by 40 painting. So I'm going to put that there. And there you have it. You had just put your first painting on the uh, template. Now, you know what? I'm looking at these pillows and I'm not a fan. Let's try to change the pillows. Now, what's neat about this template is that you can actually add things to the template to make it your own. So what we're going to go is back to my computer and we're going to go to back to the files. Let's see, here we are. But this time we're going to go to the DIY, the do-it-yourself to find accessories. Click on that and we're going to go to um, pillows right here. We're going to click on them and a bunch of pillows are going to come up. What kind of pillow should we put there? You know what? Let's put this peacock pillow. How perfect that how perfect that could be. So we're going to click on it and open it up. And there you have it. The little peacock pillow appears before your eyes. But we're going to have to size it. Now I'm going to drop this down just so you can see above the pillow here, it has a little circle. Now you see the little spinning circle? This is how you turn it to give it to different uh, you can turn it this way so what we're going to do we turned it and we're going to put it up here and reduce the size and kind of overlay it there you go see just like that now technically you'd probably want to go get another pillow to put on the other side but wait there's more I'm going to show you a little trick you take this pillow and you right click on your mouse and you come up with a drop down menu of a lot of different things you a lot of different things you can do and one of them is duplicate overlay click on it and voila another picture another pillow appears and you're going to move it over to that area click on the little circle above and turn it into position and just set it get it centered oops okay just like that and looks good and we're going to X out of this little guy and there you have it if you're happy with that and that's what you want you want to save this so again we're going to save this and you're going to name it now what I would do is name it the name of the painting and put down two after it because this will probably be the second picture you're going to display on your art. Most most of the time I display the original painting as the first painting and the second painting I do the couch. But if you have a couch, um, uh, a template like this that looks really, really cool, you might want to put this first as your first uh, piece of art. But for argument's sake, I would name it two. And now what quality size do we put in? Do we put in a, a tiny file size, medium, or a large? Medium is good. You don't want to go large for this ever for the simple reason is that a lot of these sites have limited space. They allow you only a limited amount of space and they don't like the super large files. So the medium size is pretty good. So we're going to click on that and we're going to save that to the computer and I'll just leave it like that. Oops. Let me name that too because I don't want to override that one. Okay. And there you have it. You just saved your first. There you go. Masterpiece saved. The monkey agrees. <laughs> okay. There you have it. Okay. Now we're going to do a do it yourself. Hey out there, if you've taken a coffee break, get your butt back here. We're ready to go. Okay, again, we're going to click on edit and go down to computer. And this time we're going to locate the file of the do-it-yourself. The Sky Tailors do-it-yourself, build a template. We're going to click on that and a lot of things are going to come up. 
the very first thing you always start with is the wall. And you click on that, and now we're going to pick out a wall that we want. Now, a lot of these have rugs already on them. Okay, I like this off-white wall with teal. We're going to add that, and there it is. Now, how do we get the furniture settings on this template? Very easily. You go to your left, and you're going to scroll down, and we're going to hit the overlay. Overlay is what we'll use from now on. Anything we want to add to this is an overlay. Real simple, real intuitive. We're going to go to my computer. And because we're already in the um, do-it-yourself section, what I do is I click up on the files, the little arrow going up, and it brings me back to all the accessories I can add. Okay, the next thing we want to add would be a couch. So we're going to click on couches. I'm going to go blue. I like teal. Teal works for me. It's going to match that rug. Open it up, and there's your couch. As we discussed earlier, you can enlarge the couch. You can make it longer, shorter. There you go. We're going to set that up. I want to make it a little bit longer. That looks like a good size. And we're going to move it right in position just like that. Maybe just a little bit bigger. Okay. Okay. Next thing we're going to add is a end table. End table works for me. Okay. Again, I'm going to click up and I'm going to come down. Oh, click up again because we're still on couches. Uh, coffee table, end table. Here you go. Going to click on end tables. Kind of like this one the best. Open it up. And there you have it. We're going to move this into position. Just like that. Next thing we're going to do is to get off that guy. There you go. We're going to go back and click up get out of this and we're going to look for lamps what kind of lamp do we want to pick well you know what i kind of like the silverware silver one looks good to me we'll open that guy up and there it is you want to move it and set it right up on the table how cool is that eh, maybe you want to make it a little bit bigger all righty yeah that looks pretty good okay what's next Next, let's add a painting. Let's get on there, add a painting. My computer. Let's go back to, uh, let's see here what we got. Uh, let me go down to downloads. That's where I have my paintings. Okay, there I am. <laughs> um, you know what? This kind of looks cool right here. Let's add that painting. Open it up. And there you go. Gigantic painting. And we're going to click on it to make sure that you have the little circles around it. And we're going to reduce the size. And we're going to put it above the couch. Just like that. Now we're going to pull this all together with the pillows. Like I say, you experiment. There's a lot of things you can do with these templates and do it yourself. Millions and millions of combinations. Mine might not come out that good. Yours might be the masterpiece. You got to play with it. This is live. I'm just faking it. Okay. We're going to go to my computer again. We're going to go back to the... Um, do-it-yourself file. But as you do this, you'll become really, really fast. You'll be able to zip it real quick and get exactly what you want. Okay, what we're going to do is go to pillows. Hmm. I think, let's see, what do we, what one do you think I should pick? The regular blue pillow or the satin pillow? 
Okay, let's do a Liberace here. Let's get those satin pillows going. I don't know how it's going to look, but we'll we'll put it on. Okay, now you're going to reduce the size of the pillow. Oh my gosh. There you go. I don't know if I'm liking this setting, but it's a it's a demo. Nobody said it was going to be perfect. Okay. You're going to turn the pillow because it's sitting on the corner of the couch and you're going to reduce the size of it just like that i'm not a fan of this pillow but it goes with the painting okay now do you remember how to get another pillow what do you do test time that's right you right click it right click it scroll down the menu and it says duplicate overlay bang there you go you got another one easy shimizu okay and then we're going to turn it computers lagging just a little bit kind of driving me crazy because of all the commercials coming up probably but that's the price you pay for free okay that i'll tell you something <laughs> if i had a front room that looked like this i think i would shoot myself <laughs> but you get the idea oops let's make that just a little bit bigger you get the idea you be creative okay let's do something crazy let's just leave that pillow on a crazy angle no we better adjust it lagging computer time here but oh, there it is okay and we're going to push this down okay next thing we're going to do is go back and this time we're going to look for a plant move up let's go to house plants Okay, this one looks good. Let's click on it, open it up. And where is it? What? Hang on a second. <laughs> oh, well, that's live for you. Okay, we're going to adjust the size of this and pop this booger over to the side of the couch. And even though this is not the best furniture setting, but you get the idea. Look how cool that looks. I mean, I could change the couch. If I don't like this couch, I probably could change it out. I'm going to show you another little trick. Okay, let's say this couch doesn't work. You delete it. You right-click it. And delete overlay. There you go. Now you got floating pillows. Let's try to put a different couch in there and see what happens. And I'm going to show you a little trick as we do this. Okay. Let's go back up. Let's go to couches. It's good that uh, this happens so you can see how to do something else. Uh, let's pick. Uh, okay, let's pick this couch. Okay, there you have it. We're going to put the couch in the general area and we're going to reduce it. But what you want to do is you want to click on those pillows, right click, and bring forward. Oops, why didn't that work? Wait, let's see here. Move the pillow out of the the couch out of the way. Let's do the pillow. Try it again. Bring forward. What the heck? Okay, then I don't know. Bring this back. <laughs> Oh, bring the front. Okay. Let's try that. Bring to front. There you go. <laughs> okay, so it's bring to front. <laughs> okay, and we're going to pop that down. This one too. Right click it. Usually it's just bring forward. I don't get that. Why they would have bring forward and bring to front. But you know what? You get the idea. And now we're going to put our couch back. So you will always, <laughs> you want to bring the front. Okay. Let's get that couch good. And we're going to click on these pillows. Okay, there you go. Well, maybe this couch doesn't stand out, but you could always change the background, I think. 
Well, yeah, that's okay. It's not too bad. It's a little light on the left side. Technically, I probably would have went with a gray wall. But you know what? You got to play with it. But that just shows you what you can do, bringing forward and bringing back. You could see, like, for instance, this is sitting behind it. You could bring it forward, and there you go. It could overlap it. You got to play with this. This is this is how you learn. And you can see you can bring that forward. So maybe you want a little bit of the leaves over, just touching the couch a little bit to make it more realistic. That's up to you. We're going to leave it right there, folks. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And please use those templates. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, now when you want to save this, you are going to hit the save button. And again, you're going to go to this site. You're going to name it. Pick the quality. You're going to pick middle of the road. You don't want to go high quality with this. You don't want to go low quality. The middle is usually the best. So you're going to click on that. Because of the different sites, they don't want the real high quality. Uh, big megapixels. They're limited and they it's not important. They have a super high definition picture of this. The middle of the road is perfect for this type of picture. And you're going to save it to your computer. Name it and you're done. Just like that. Masterpiece saved. You're in business. Okay, what did you think? Pretty good, huh? Now, I want you to do one thing for me. If you just do one thing, I would greatly appreciate it. I am the artist artist. I share everything with you. Believe me, there's no other artist that would give up 80 hours of his time to put together something to give away for free. I want you to share this link with all your artist friends everybody and don't worry about it being competitive and everybody's just going to look the same because with the do-it-yourself templates you can always make it your own it, it's just to display your art for your customers so i want you to put this on your facebook page i want you to share it with everybody i'm sharing it with you share it with others and go out and sell a lot of paintings i want your site to be the best it can possibly be Thank you very much for watching. I'm Sky Taylor, and we'll talk to you real soon. And remember, folks, subscribe. No other artist gives you as much as I do. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.